Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does coagulation and flocculation work in water treatment? And water treatment is essential for providing clean and safe water. Coagulation and flocculation are key steps in this process. Coagulation involves adding chemicals to water to destabilize particles. These particles are typically suspended solids that are too small to settle out on their own. Common coagulants include aluminum sulfate and ferric chloride. When added, these chemicals neutralize the charges of particles, allowing them to clump together. This clumping forms larger particles called flocks. Then inflocculation follows coagulation and involves gentle mixing to form even larger flocks. This process uses flocculants, which are substances that help bind the smaller clumps together. The gentle mixing ensures that the flocks grow large enough to be removed easily. Once the flocks are formed, they can be separated from the water through sedimentation or filtration. Sedimentation allows the flocks to settle at the bottom of a tank, where they can be removed. Filtration involves passing the water through filters to capture the flocks. These steps are crucial for removing contaminants and ensuring water safety. Coagulation and flocculation are widely used in municipal water treatment plants. They help in removing not only suspended solids, but also bacteria and other pathogens. This makes the water safe for drinking and other uses. The efficiency of these processes depends on factors like pH, temperature, and the type of coagulants used. Properly treated water is essential for public health and well-being. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.